ever get the feeling like when you ask someone, how are you? It's almost like a reflex, you know? Wow. Like we just say it without even thinking, like countless times a day. It's like a script, right. It is. It's totally a script. So in this deep dive, we're going deep on how are you? I love it. Why it's lost its meaning and how to actually like have interactions that, you know, actually mean something. Yes. Oh. How to bring back some authenticity to this kind of overused phrase. Yeah. And it's fascinating, you know, the how are you question has become so ingrained in our social fabric, especially in the United States. It's almost as if it's become synonymous with hello. Yeah. But what's interesting is that there's this underlying human need to connect, right? Yeah. To acknowledge each other. Of course. But at the same time, we crave these structured interactions. It's the, um, what is it? The script theory. Exactly. Script theory. It suggests that we rely on these pre-programmed phrases, these scripts, to navigate our daily social interactions. Makes sense. It's like, you know, you walk into a store and you're like, hi, how are you? They're like, I'm good, how are you? And you're like, good. Exactly. And it's not that we don't care. It's just that these scripts provide a sense of familiarity and they reduce the uncertainty in social situations, you know, maintain that social order. Right, right. Like, imagine if you stopped and actually told everyone how you were doing every time. Oh, my God. It's like, oh, well, you know, my cat's sick. And you're just like, well, I just needed to buy some milk. It would get a little complicated. Very quickly. But on the flip side, mm. that's the problem with relying too much on these scripts. Mm. They can lead to these shallow, meaningless interactions. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're trying to avoid. Right, right. right. One of the sources we have for today's deep dive suggests that maybe we should only ask, how are you, when we're genuinely ready to hear the answer. Oh, that's interesting. Because it sounds really simple. Yeah, no, I get it. Think about it. Imagine you have a colleague who's about to give a big presentation, and you see them the next day. Yeah. Instead of the automatic, how are you, uh. you could say, hey, how did that presentation go? Oh, I like that. It shows you were paying attention. Yeah. And you're genuinely interested. It's so much more meaningful. Exactly. And it opens the door for a more authentic connection. I mean, isn't that what it's all about, really? Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, it made me think it's not just about the questions we ask, but it's also about how we listen. You know, even a seemingly simple question like, how was your weekend, can lead to a deeper connection if the other person feels truly heard. It's about being present, right? Exactly. Being present in that moment. And look, we might not always be able to invest the time or the emotional energy into a deep conversation every single time. Yeah. But just being present, making eye contact, mm. and really listening when someone's speaking, that in itself can make all the difference. And you know what? This whole idea of being genuine, it applies to the digital world too, don't you think? Absolutely. I was just thinking that. Like all those emails we get that start with, I hope this email finds you well. It's like, yeah. come on, just get to the point. Exactly. In those digital spaces, Sometimes cutting to the chase can actually be more authentic and respectful of people's time. It's true. Like instead of how are you at the start of an email, how about hope you're having a productive week, wanted to follow up on. Right. Or I had a quick question about, you know, just be direct. So much better. It shows that you value the other person's time. You're not just going through the motions. So to wrap things up today, you know, I think it's really interesting to think about how something as simple as how are you can be so much more than just a pleasantry. Right. Like, what if we all tried to be more mindful, more present, and really use it as an opportunity to connect with each other? It's a simple shift in mindset. Yeah. But it could have a ripple effect on our relationships. Uh -huh. What if, instead of just a greeting, how are you, became a genuine invitation to connect? Even if the response is just, I'm well, thank you. I love that. Something oh. to think about. 